it is imperative to ensure that Israel receives unwavering support and all necessary resources to effectively address the challenges it faces. This support is vital for Israel to take the required actions to safeguard its interests and security. The absence of a speaker in the current political climate exacerbates the situation, as the actions of some members of my party have been nothing short of irresponsible. The importance of having a responsible and capable speaker cannot be overstated. The actions taken by certain members of my party have shown a spotlight on the recklessness that can result from the absence of effective leadership. To address this issue, our primary objective should be to ensure that Israel is equipped with everything it needs to confront the challenges it faces head-on. First and foremost, it is crucial to guarantee that Israel has all the necessary tools and resources at its disposal to take the actions it deems essential for its security and well-being. This includes ensuring that Israel's military and intelligence capabilities are at their peak, as well as providing the diplomatic and economic support required to sustain its operations. Secondly, diplomatic efforts must be made to engage with our allies in the region. Lines of communication with our allies are essential in preventing further escalation of tensions. Israel must initiate conversations with nations like Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Jordan. These regional allies play a pivotal role in maintaining stability in the area, and fostering strong ties with them is essential. Engaging with Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Jordan can help ensure that the situation remains contained within manageable boundaries. It is in the best interest of all parties involved to collaborate in finding peaceful solutions to the challenges the region faces. Thirdly, maintaining a robust line of communication with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is paramount. The Prime Minister should have a reliable sounding board for deliberating the consequences of each step taken to defend Israel's interests. This should encompass both the protection of the nation and addressing the actions of groups like Hamas. Prime Minister Netanyahu needs to have the support and resources to think through the ramifications of every decision. Together, we should work on strategies to eliminate the leadership of Hamas, which has been responsible for horrific acts. Such actions, like those witnessed in recent times, should not go unanswered. In summary, supporting Israel's endeavors to protect itself is paramount. This support should include the allocation of necessary resources and responsible leadership. Furthermore, engaging with regional allies to maintain stability is essential, and consistent communication with the Israeli Prime Minister is crucial for thoughtful and strategic decision-making. Together, we can work to ensure the security and stability of the region.